Hello students, I am Vimal Saloth from LJ Institute of Engineering and Technology. Welcome to the lecture series of Automotive Manufacturing Processes and Technology. In this session, we are going to discuss about chapter welding and topic is resistance welding and its types. So let us start with principle of resistance welding. In this diagram, the principle of resistance welding is shown. The equipments which are used are transformer. This equipment is transformer. Function of transformer is to step down or step up the voltage and by that way it can increase or reduce the current passing through the circuit. Here we are using step down transformer, AC supply. These are two electrodes which are made of copper and these are two work pieces which we want to weld. So let us see in detail what is the principle of electrical resistance welding. Here AC supply is used because AC supply can be transformed into high voltage or lower voltage as per the requirement by using the transformer. The basic principle which is used is based on this equation H equal to IR square RT. The necessary heat is produced by the resistance and it is based on this equation. So in this equation H is heat produced at the welding zone. I is the current in ampere, R is the resistance and T is the time duration for which current flow takes place. So heat produced at the welding zone is directly proportional to the current which passes through the circuit resistance and time duration for which the current is passed through the circuit. Here step down transformer is used. So by using this transformer we can decrease the value of supply voltage and generally it ranges from 4 to 12 volts and by that way we are increasing the current which flows through the circuit. Generally its value is 10,000 ampere up to 10,000 ampere it can be used. Maximum value can be any. It may be up to 50,000 ampere also but for welding purpose we are using up to 10,000 ampere. So by using this transformer we are decreasing the supply voltage and we are increasing the current flow. These two electrodes are made from the copper alloys. The reason why copper is used is that copper is very good conductor of the electricity and one another property of copper is that it is soft material comparatively. So in this process the heat and pressure is used to produce a welding zone. But what happens when we apply the pressure on this electrode and by that way on this work pieces to be welded as copper is soft material there are chances that it may be produce a buckling. So to prevent that type of problem we are using some alloy elements in combination with the copper which provides good strength to the copper with capability of withstanding higher pressure. So one electrode is stationary generally this electrode lower electrode in general it remains stationary it may be movable also and this electrode can be moved in vertical direction. As high heat is produced during the process it is necessary to cool down the electrodes that's why water supply is used and it is shown here by this jacketing in this diagram. So these are the two work pieces which we want to weld or 
join now let's see what happens when we pass the required current through the circuit here two work pieces let's take one work piece as work piece a and another work piece as work piece b so i am going to show you magnified view of this zone where welding process takes place so these are two work pieces a and b these are the two plates which we want to join now the plates or work piece always it has some surface roughness in forms of peaks and valleys as they are shown here so these are the peaks and valleys which a work piece may contain on its surface now what happens when current passes through this electrode and then through work piece here it is a gap and it has air so this air or gap provides resistance to the flow of the current now as high current is passing and as here resistance is producing high heat will be generated in this area so it is a hz heat affected zone where high heat is heat is produced and it is sufficient to bring the workpiece material in plastic stage so here this area is shown by this red color and in oval shape and it is known as nugget at the same time pressure is applied at the upper electrode so it will come in contact with the workpiece and as high pressure is applied the workpiece material which is already in plastic stage they will be fused together and welding takes place two workpieces will be joined so this area is known as nugget in technical word it's known as nugget so it is a basic principle of electrical resistance welding now let's see different types of resistance welding so first type is known as spot resistance welding here one spot is produced at the required zone so these are the two work pieces as we discussed and it is a single nugget which is being produced to weld the two work pieces together so it is a spot resistance welding machine and generally it is operated by the foot so in this diagram you can see here it is a foot pedal to apply the pressure these are the two work pieces which we want to weld together and these are the two electrodes upper electrode and lower electrode initially two work pieces are separate are kept separate because of the pressure of this spring but when we operate this foot pedal the circuit will be on the current passes the current passes through the electrodes and the electrode this upper electrode will apply the pressure heat is generated and by the application of the pressure we can produce the required welding joint so it is a spot resistance welding machine which is generally used now these are the steps how spot resistance welding takes place so in first step we have to make the surface cleaner as it may contain some dirt or dust particles or sometimes it may also contains grease or paint so it is necessary to clean the surfaces before the actual process so in first step we will make the surface cleaner as well we will also make this electrode cleaner which are going to be in contact with the workpiece material in second stage now this electrode comes in contact with the workpiece in third stage as current is passing through the circuit heat will be produced and as we discussed in a similar fashion heat will be produced and nugget will be produced at the affected zone 
and when we apply the pressure and keep it for some time the required welding joint the required welding joint is produced after the completion of the task the electrode is removed and by that way we can weld together two materials now here we can produce the welding on a spot that's why it is known as a spot resistance welding next type is projection welding or resistance projection welding as we discussed in case of spot welding the welding zone can produce single nugget but if we want to produce several nuggets more than one more than one nugget in a single time then it can be done with the application of projection welding in its simple meaning projection means extension of the surfaces so here you can see these are the two electrodes upper electrode and lower electrode and it is a workpiece which we want to weld together so here you can see these are the projections which are provided on the surface of the workpiece so it is a somewhat extended part we can say on the workpiece surface so when it comes in contact with another workpiece material and with the application of electrical current and pressure let's see how welding joint will be produced so in this diagram the steps are shown so you can see here it is upper electrode lower electrode and it is a projection which we have made on the surface of a workpiece now as we are applying current and high pressure the projected part this projection will start to melt and when it will completely melt it will produce a nugget or required welding joint you can make several nuggets as per the requirement or several uh, projection we can make as per the length of the workpiece so simultaneously in a single application we can produce more nuggets in the joint so it is this type of joint is known as projection welding next type is seam welding now in case of seam welding the electrodes which are used are in the form of wheels in this diagram you can see the principle and working of this method so here these are the two electrodes upper electrode and lower electrode they are also made as we discussed from the copper alloys both are rotating in a uh, opposite direction upper wheel is rotating in anti clockwise direction and lower wheel is rotating in a clockwise direction both are supplied with the ac power supply so principle remains similar but here we can produce a continuous joint as in case of spot or projection welding we can produce several nuggets but in case of seam welding continuous joints or continuous nuggets can be produced so here this both are the work pieces which are pressed together and with the application of heat the affected zone will be melted up to the plastic stage and with the application of pressure they will be welded together so these sheets are moving in this direction as we required to have a continuous joint in case of a pipe or tubes so it is a application of this resistance seam welding next type of welding that is percussion welding so in this case we can join two wire electrodes of dissimilar metals here it is known as percussion welding because electrical spark takes place between the affected zone for some time with a sound noise that's why it is known as a percussion welding so ac supply is used and it is a rectifier function of rectifier is to convert ac power into dc power and it is a capacitor 
the function of capacitor is to store the energy when it is fully charged this switch will be on and the current passes through this work pieces so these are the two work pieces which are required to be joined it may be in the form of wire also so high electrical current passes an electrical spark takes place and when they come to contact then when both of these work piece come into contact with each other electrical spark takes place they will be melted and they will be fused together so it is known as a percussion welding next type of welding is butt welding this type of welding is different than lap joint in case of lap joint two work pieces overlap with each other but in case of bolt welding the two ends of the work piece are come in contact with each other and two ends of these pieces can be joined as it is shown here so it is a principle of butt welding it is a welding transformer these are the two electrodes and they are clamp type electrodes where two work pieces can be clamped and it will also serve as the uh, and it will also serve the purpose of the electrode so when these two work pieces are bring in contact with each other high pressure is applied and at the same time as high electric current is passing through this zone it will melt the affected zone and both of these work pieces will be welded together so it is known as a butt now let's see flash butt welding there is some difference between butt welding and flash butt welding this clamp is stationary clamp this clamp is movable clamp it is a ac power supply now as ac is on high current is passing through the circuit at the same time force is applied with this movable clamp so this work piece comes in contact with another work piece but in between electrical arc takes place so because of electrical arc and high current melting of two work piece takes place and they will join together and here you can see these are the flashes which are produced because of the pressure so that's why it is known as a flash but welding so it is unnecessary flash which is required to be removed and final finishing is provided to the work piece so difference between flash but welding and blood but welding is that in case of flash but welding electrical arc is also taking place whereas in case of but welding the heating is done only by the electrical resistance so these are the different types of the electrical resistance welding thank you very much for watching